I believe that everything has layers. Everything meaning our goals have layers. And so if your goal, for example, was to was to get a particular job or figure out what you're going to do, maybe now you're out of college, it, it, your your goal is is really layered bound. So it's 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 packed with layers. And deep down inside, there's a reason why you want to become a salesman or go into real estate. And when you peel it back, it goes beyond just money. It goes beyond just, you know, having financial freedom. Really, it's because you understand that the bigger picture is you want that financial security. You want to be able to do things without the without leveraging help from family members or your parents. And so you have to understand your deeper why. But first, that's step number one is understand where your destination is, boo boo. What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna share with you an important mental mindset hack that is gonna help you do the two most important things that's gonna make you a very well-rounded, successful individual in this world. And those two successful things are something that not everyone has. Now, it's very important to understand what these two things are because you're gonna notice that a lot of society has one but not the other. And you're gonna notice this in every profession, every single industry, sales, entertainment, sports, even in life, like our, even through our parents or our elders or our family. And these two things are get, the ability to get, and the ability to hold. And you might think of it as a form of consistency, you might think of it as a form of, I think of it as a form of success. Like in order to, to get yourself to a level that you aspire to reach, and to keep yourself there, to hold yourself there. And so those two capabilities are vital in regards to being successful at anything. Successful at, at art, successful at salesmanship, successful in life, uh, financially free, you know, physically healthy, right? You, ha you have to secure these two things. You have to understand how to, how to be able to kind of capture these two abilities. And so I'm gonna share with you um, a couple hacks that, that I personally have learned and I have executed on and it's allowed me to remain consistent. And so I want to share with you though why I, I came up or how I was able to learn this is because throughout my upbringing, you know, uh, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while now, you understood that I moved around a lot. I didn't grow up with my parents. You know, my mom passed away when I was really young. My dad kind of passed me off to different family members. And so I lived with aunties, uncles, cousins, and I moved around a lot. And I went through certain phases where, you know, I felt like I just couldn't necessarily, I was, I didn't have the stability. And so, so I was kind of wired in a different way, right? But it actually reflected throughout my habits. And so I would go through series where I'd be really good and I, and I'd be really, you know, successful. I'd be, I'd be on point. I'd be focused. And then I'd go through slumps where I was just unfocused. I didn't care, right? Like I, I went through very bad periods of my life. I was getting in trouble a lot getting locked up, you know, being with the wrong crowd. And then I would go back to being good again. And so um, if you could relate, you know, comment below or hit you hit that like button. Let me know that we are like, because I think it's very common. And the reason why it's common is because most of society has the ability to do one, not the other. When you can find certain ways and hacks, like the hacks that I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you in this video of how to actually do both. And again, both is the ability to get, so the ability to get what you want, whether it's that girl or that income or that job, and then the ability to keep. So a lot of people can't do the other because it does somewhat require discipline. It does somewhat require the ability to focus and concentrate, and you actually have to really want it, right? Like a lot of people want that income, but they, they don't want to you know, they don't want to do the work and it's unfortunate. So they'll, they'll do whatever they have to do to get the opportunity to do it. So they'll go through school. They might get a degree. They'll go through, uh, you know, apprentice, become an apprentice, uh, and, and never actually reach that level. Um, because the work again, kind of pushes them away from actually holding and keeping and retaining that particular level. And so here's a couple hacks that I want to share with you. And I hope that you are able to implement these hacks because it's going to really teach you how to not only get right. Like a lot of my, my content that I'm, that I share with you is showing you how to get a sale. But the, the second piece is really about keeping that sale, right? Especially in, in our profession, if you're in real estate, you understand that our transactions take, you know, on average about 30 days. 
now with the current market, it's taking on average about 45, 60. In some cases, you got a hairy file. <laughs> that bitch could be in there for like 90 days, right? So the ability is not only just to get, but it's actually to keep and to, to hold on to. And so the hack is this, is that in order for you to, to understand where you're going, you need to know where the actual uh, destination is. And the destination is gonna be very different for everyone, depending on what, where, what part and point you are in your life. And so the destination for you right now might just be to get a new car. Um, some of you might, your destination might be to get a new house or to start a family or to you know, initiate and jumpstart your career. But it goes beyond that. And you, I believe that everything has layers. Everything meaning our goals have layers. And so if your goal, for example, was to, was to get a particular job or figure out what you're gonna do, maybe now you're out of college, it, it, your, your goal is, is really layered bound. So it's, it's, it's packed with layers. And deep down inside, there's a reason why you want to become a salesman or go into real estate. And when you peel it back, it goes beyond just money. It goes beyond just you know having financial freedom. Really, it's because you understand that the bigger picture is you want that financial security. You want to be able to do things without the without leveraging help from family members or your parents. And so you have to understand your deeper why. But first, that's step number one is understand where your destination is. You have to know exactly where you're going because if you don't know where you're going, you're just going to end up anywhere. And anywhere isn't necessarily part of your plan. So become really, really focused and defined on where you're going. And I can't answer that for you. That's That's up to you. But when you identify where you're going and when you discover what destination you want to reach, then you have to work backwards. And it's very, very important. Rever the concept of reverse engineering is very powerful because it, it's, you know, in order to get to a particular place, and we do it all the time, whether we like it or not, right? So, so we might be headed to work, we might be headed to school, we might be headed to the homie's house, and there's maybe detours or roadblocks or traffic. And so what do we do? We reverse engineer and say, okay, well, I can get there through here, I can get there through there. And the same concept applies to specific destinations within our life, like our goals, our, our financial commitments, our financial goals, our career goals, whatever it is, right? So you can use creativity to understand and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And so when you identify the destination and then you start to reverse engineer, what you're gonna find is that there are specific actions that are required in order to attain because the most difficult part of actually holding on to things, like it's easy to get, especially right now, you can get information anywhere at a push of a button. You can get in front of a, a, a bun, you know, whoever you want because the, create, the creativity mixed with technology today provides you an abundance of opportunity. And so everyone can literally get, like if you ever seen someone maybe come into your sales force, someone brand new into your, into your business and you think they're lucky because they're getting all the attention or they're getting all the sales or they're getting a lot of originations, it doesn't mean that they're more gifted than you. They, they just have a good knack at getting stuff. And so, but, but, the, but the key is though, can they hold it? That's the actual true answer, you know? So if you've been in sales for a minute, you might understand kind of the, that salesman code, right? The sales floor code. Sales floor code is, if you haven't been here for at least 30, 60 days, we're not gonna take you seriously, <laughs> right? Like a lot of people won't even talk to you unless you last 60 days because sales in itself has a revolving door. And so it's, it's always swinging. People come in, people go out. People come in, people go out. And so, so even though you'll see people come in very successful, it doesn't mean that they're gonna be there long term. Like a lot, of, a lot of them burn out because they're unable to hold on to it. And so the same concept applies. And when you reverse engineer and you understand what these particular actions are, you, it, it gives you the, de the details that you need to actually take not only on a monthly basis, not only on a weekly basis, but it allows you to discover what actions you need to take on a daily basis. And so again, for those of you who've been following my channel for a while now, you understand that I, I have, in me personally, as well as implement towards my team, what is called a dub system. Dub system is double up. Like you gotta double up the actions that are, are you know known as your status quo. And so if your status quo is one sale per day, then you gotta double that up. And so then you gotta figure out, okay, I, I, I understand status quo is one, I'm, I'm aiming for two. Right in this market right now, you gotta be aiming for four because you should be doing two a day. But just understand and follow me on this concept because it's gonna make a lot of sense. And so, and so instead of, you know, my team and I, instead of looking at our goals on a monthly scale and say, okay, for this month, I wanna do 10 sales, I wanna do 20 sales. We actually reverse engineer it, we break it down 
on, okay, well, this is how much I need to do on a weekly basis in order to uh, generate that monthly result. And then you break it down even further and say, okay, well, this is what I need to do on a daily basis to hit that weekly commitment in order to get that monthly result. And then we go even further. So in order to hit this daily commitment, I need to do these actions every hour. I need to break down my, my, my actual day to where I'm doing this section or this part of my day is dedicated to handling this part because there's a lot of spinning plates in anything that you do, anything that, that is required in order to build your empire and build your success. And so why this hack has allowed my team as well as myself to hold on to the number one position in the, in the lead position in our organization as the number one sales team consistently for the last three years is because we understand this concept. And so not only were we able to get the sales, get the accolades, get the recognition, get all of these wonderful things that we enjoy in our life today, but we we're able to hold on to it. Even though right now my team is probably the smallest team within my organization, small, like there's only there's only 11 of us, right? It's about 10 if you take in consideration the two new people <laughs> that actually just joined my team. But, you know, even though we're new and even though I'm, even though we're, we're a smaller team, we are very, very efficient. And the only way that we, be, we became this efficient is we understand where our destination is and we reversed engineer it to break it down to a quarterly, a monthly, a weekly, a daily and an hourly actual path. It's, it's a map. And so and so we utilize the opportunities, the resources and everything that is given to us from the market, the leads, the, the operations, the, you know, the, the computer, the screens, whatever it is, the, the resources. Right. That allows us to get. But our understanding of the concept of reverse engineering and breaking everything down to a daily objective and then holding ourselves accountable to a double up system. So a double system. Like if you if everyone here is doing one a day, I'm going to do two. If everyone here is doing two a day, I'm going to do four. Because what happens is when you hold yourself accountable to go to exceed expectation, you start to figure things out. Right. You just you do. That's just that's just us. And maybe that is the human science that allows us to become so successful at actually getting and holding on to that success. And so I really hope that this impacts you. I hope that that I hope that you can adapt these ideologies in this in this type of philosophy. Right. And if you want to learn more about looking at sales in a different way, if you want to learn about the new way of how to kind of develop a right mindset, remaster your your actual vision on sales and salesmanship, then I invite you to check out at sales remastered on every platform that you could find it. You could find it right now on Twitter. You could find it right now on Snapchat. You could you find it on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever platform you're on. Do me one solid. Just search hashtag sales remastered or hashtag 637MLO, and you're gonna find all the content that's tied to me. And, and add me to your feed because it just, it, it's, always that, it's always that one thing that really kind of pivots the direction of where you're going, and it could really open your eyes of different opportunities and different methods that are not being used by people around you. And so because they're not being used by people around you, you'll never know about them. The, the, the heights that you'll reach will be based on your circle. The levels of success you reach are typically based on your resources and, and, and the influences around you. So allow me to become part of that atmosphere. Allow my channel and Sales Remastered to, to penetrate your attention and become part of your daily habits. I appreciate all of you guys for taking a minute to join me on these live sessions. And if you want, definitely check out more content on YouTube. Every single day I'm uploading videos and every single weekend I'm putting long form content to really you know, give you that helpful boost so that you understand your, your, your resources and your ability to really not only get, but to hold on to whatever it is that you're striving for. So I wish you nothing but success. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.